and what's up everybody welcome back to the channel it is your boy cheap ludes all hail welcome to season three of nba 2k22 my team so we're gonna go over everything that is new in nba 2k22 my team for season three in this video so if you're playing the game this is a very unnecessary video for you to watch but you know you can still watch it anyway and support your boy if you really feel like it let's start with xp so taking a look at the actual xp tree here i mean we got a gold him a dude diallo who's usually pretty fun to use in 2k uh got yeah, nice out basketball ascension to get the god himself cliff hagan kurt rambis is here i'm actually super excited about that i wish it was a pink diamond glitched kurt rambis but you know boy can dream reggie jackson deshaun stevenson ruby yeah fine the drip god doug collins himself is in the mix he looks like he has two legs on uh, one leg, but that's just like his massive. I don't know. Is that a quad? I honestly don't know. CJ McCollum and then Alonzo. What the hell is Alonzo Morning? I thought Alonzo Morning was in the mix over here somewhere. What is he a reward for exactly? I know we got one. I just don't know exactly what it is for. Hmm. Either way, doesn't really matter. Looking at the XP, it looks like the weekend warrior shenanigans are back. Um, clutch time is in the mix like we obviously got like a bunch of clutch time challenges which makes sense make 34 pointers <laughs> the maxed out challenges are the same as last year um the thing i will note about that that i think is very very cool is that oh alonzo morning's collector level oh that's whack dude that's terrible they seem to last all season and it's the same format as last year or last season so i think that's pretty cool I don't really have any issue with that. I think that's pretty tight. Aside from the fact that it's draft excluded, which I think sucks pretty bad, yeah, but whatever. At least it's all season long. You can pick up the lower overall guys for pretty cheap and get some quick XP. Then we got some play challenges, like play limited, play unlimited, triple threat online, clutch time, whatever. Same thing. I mean, it's basically the same. Nothing really different. Nothing in the... Oh, yes, we got the city floor stuff which this just gets you a bunch of collector level cards. Um, you just have to score like an absurd amount of points with like a certain player from each team. 71 with the Spurs. Shout out to David Robinson making it hard on us. Shout out to Devin Booker over here for making the Suns one hard on us as well. I actually don't know who scored the 62 points with a Magic player. I actually don't know who that was, um, which is shot. Oh, it, it says it. it's Tracy McGrady. <laughs> I really should have known that. I knew he was going off. I just didn't know he went off like that. Stack, you know, you forget how good Stackhouse was until you realize he dropped 57 in a game. I think it was in like 90 something, probably 97. Um, Kemba, wow. Match Kemba Walker Walker's Wilkins franchise record. That doesn't make any sense. Then we got the city uniforms. I'm guessing they lock in for some tokens or something. Um, this is just win triple threat online games with three of each player. Pretty cool regardless, I guess. I mean, if you're going to do them anyway, it's not really that big of a deal. Single player. So we got triple threat. Detlef Shrimp is the triple threat vault reward. And honestly, he looks pretty good. Like he's a Detlef Shrimp card early game. He looks great. He honestly looks like a top tier small forward power forward in this game. Dead serious. 6'10", 7 foot wingspan. Uh, gold clamps, interceptor, hustler. He's got silver ankle braces, silver intimidator, both upgradable. All the... Every badge is upgradable for him. You can add whatever badge you want. He's got catch and shoot corner set sniper volume shooter as far as Hoff badges on the shooting end with gold limitless spot up. Um, but you can add dead eye, circus threes, lucky number seven, rhythm shooter, etc. You cannot add quick first step, hyper drive, and quick chain. Those are the three you cannot add to him. So he's not going to be a speed demon, but as a pure shooter, he looks great. Then if you go to the top, I mean, if you're already close enough, then I would go for it, but I'm not going to go out of my way to do this. You do get a diamond shoe pack at 700 mystic deluxe cliff Robinson, who looks relatively good, like a somewhat decent amount of MT, I guess, but it is what it is. We haven't got the new Dom yet. Expect that later in the season. As far as challenges, we got the season three warm up. Uh, look at Corey Kispert. Oh God. Uh, you get Emerald Nishan Highland. I don't know who this is. You must use two bronzes, two emeralds, or two golds. Sorry, I don't know why I said bronzes. Two golds, two emeralds, two sapphires, and two. That's not even enough players for the team. I'm very confused. 
So what I'm reading here is two emeralds, two sapphires, two up to amethyst, and then I I don't understand this at all. I guess I'd have to build the limited in lineup. Um, yeah, this doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. I guess we'll figure it out. I'll touch on it in a little bit. Then the maxed out challenge as well, where you get, is it, well, they're not deluxe packs, so pro difficulty, five minute quarters, make eight three pointers as a team, and then the game ends. I mean, it is what it is. I'm sorry, my brain's buffering because it's limited. doesn't make sense to me. I guess I'll like figure it out. The pickup challenge seems to be the same. Not sure if it changes. Let me know. No spotlights. And then there's a Dame Lillard signature challenge where you get a uh, pack of shoes. Fantastic. Okay. Well, that about does it for offline. Now we got clutch time, which I have yet to play, obviously. And then you get to make your little lineup here. And then you get to spin the wheel. It's very similar to everything that we see. And then you get a Ruby Julius Randall if you get 10 wins without getting through or whatever. Draft is about the same. I'll do a little bit of a draft. We got uh, Calvin Matt, who has two first names. So I don't know. <laughs> he looks okay if you ever see him like pop up. Um yeah, I don't understand what's happening here. Why am I? Yeah, I know. I know. I was at pink diamond tier, but that's cool. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Just put me in diamond tier because you guys are dicks. Um, yeah, I mean, unlimited is unlimited. Limited. You get a limited edition deluxe pack with one ring. It's cool, I guess. I guess. Dan Thunder Marley. Okay, so you must use two golds. Okay. Two emeralds. Two sapphires, right? So that's six players. And then you may use up to two amethysts. So what what is the rest of the lineup? Is this like however high you want to use it? I am confused. I guess I'll have to make a lineup and we'll see what's up. I mean, I haven't played clutch time yet, but I will. Then we obviously got the maxed out packs. They're not really that good. The odds are pretty bad. I mean, if you've watched my pack opening, which should be out by the time you see this video, then yeah, you kind of know what the what the drill is here. In addition to that, we got some rewards. The badge packs are still here, so I'm kind of stoked about that. We got Signature Series 2, like, token packs or whatever. Those are never worth it, I promise, like, ever. And then Clutch Time Token Pack. Six for one. Clutch Time contains one badge, one shoe boost, and one contract. That's absolutely not worth it. Uh, then we got a new Pink Diamond reward. We got John Collins. John Collins looks relatively good. Uh, six foot nine, 87 three pointer, 95 driving dunk, only a 74 ball handle, but 84 block. He plays like no defense whatsoever. He rebounds relatively well. He's not really that fast. They kind of did this card dirty, dude. Like he's just like a better version of Christian Wood, basically with like a worse jump shot. Like he's got limitless takeoff and like Hall of Fame set shooter and stuff, which I think is fine. But they kind of did my man dirty. I'm, I'm kind of upset by how they did John Collins, especially because like Chris Mullen was really solid last year. And then they had or last year, last season. They really did my man dirty. And then we got Colin Sexton as the diamond. And once again, I think the diamond is actually better than the pink diamond. Like if you're looking for a point guard, Sexton looks really good. Like he plays competent enough defense. He's fast. He's got a good jump shot. Like the tendencies probably aren't really there. They're not. The badge count solid, like downhill, quick first step, fast twitch, like fearless finisher, catch and shoot, corner specialist, difficult shots, glue hands, gold clamps, quick chain, like lucky number seven on gold, which would help a lot in clutch time. Set shooter, unpluckable dead eye sniper, like hot zone hunter. Colin looks incredible. I might even just pick up Colin and not even pick up uh, John Collins, which is frustrating because I was really looking forward to John Collins when they put him on the database until I really looked into him. So it, it kind of sucks. You know what I mean? Start the season off with a uh, free agent, George Gervin. Got to score 20 points in a single game with him, which shouldn't be that hard. Just go do Rookie Dom or one, or the Pro Challenge. Like, it really doesn't matter. I would just do the maxed out Pro Challenge and then score 20 before hitting your eight threes with the team. Should be relatively okay after that. Um, what else do we got? Exchanges. Yes, the exchanges. Uh, Quite interesting. We got, they got rid of the shoe boost, which I think was like a pain. This thing stayed though. The 100 consumable. I'm guessing that's going to stay all the time. We got a few new players. We got Jalen Brown, who requires five golds, one emerald, and then one any color Celtics player. It's actually a pretty solid um, 
like exchange the five golds is a little rough it's still probably not worth doing but if you want to that one i would say sure why not antonio davis looks like so trash like he's antonio davis diamonds are always horrible and like 10 original owner sapphires four amethyst players and 10 raptors players now i would check your collection for some of these raptors guys and see if they've gone up in price because of it rolando blockman he looks good I mean, he's not worth the exchange, I don't think. Like, the Diamond player, 8 Amethyst, 10 original owner Rubies, and 20 original owner Mavericks players. Wow, they made the Mavericks players original owners, so you can't even really come up off selling them. That sucks. That sucks so bad. That's so whack, dude. That's so whack. Now, I'm going to search my collection because we did get a bunch of dynamic duos today. So, let me see if anybody got some new duos before I end this video. I got Nate Archibald spoilers if you haven't watched the back opening i suppose um yeah i mean these these are all diamonds and stuff i don't think brandon ingram got one okay brandon ingram and drew holiday got one bi gets hoff catch and shoot gold quick first step stop and go hoff sniper drew gets pickpocket pick dodger wow okay yeah this actually is nice right here I wish they boosted up his defense a little bit, but it's still it's still fun. Like that's a nice dynamic duo. It's not the greatest, but it'll it'll do the trick. Uh, yeah, Drew Holiday, obviously. Anybody else get one? Like anyone whatsoever? Uh, I guess not. Apparently, no one else did. Is that the only one? James Harden already had one, I think. Yeah, probably. These guys had one. Luca, yeah, Luca and Kristaps. I'm looking for some of the older promo cards to see if any of those got them. Well, yeah, that's not going to help. Why didn't they give my boy OJ Mayo one? Why did you guys... Oh, Marcus Smart having one would have been so cool. Wait, Wang ZZ. Oh, Poku got one. Poku and Lou Dort. That's actually a pretty good one, too. For limited and stuff, those are pretty, pretty cool, but I don't really think they do a whole lot. Eric Snow and Dikembe. Oh, shit. Okay, this one's good. This one's really good. Yeah, you get Hoff, Rim Protector, Chase Down, Defensive Leader, Intimidator, Rebound Chaser, Post Move, Lockdown. Oh, man, he's a monster. And then Eric Snow gets Gold Acrobat, Corner Specialist, Pick Dodger, Hoff, Hot Zone Hunter, Hoff, Hustler. And then he goes up. It doesn't really do too much to Eric Snow. He's about the same. He gets a little bit better. But this makes Dikembe significantly better. That's a really cool one. Why don't you give one to Mike Muscala, dude? Jay Crowder already had one. Sadiq Bay has one with Cade Cunningham. Let's give Sadiq downhill, quick first step, hot zone, and slippery, plus some decent upgrades. That's another really good one. I actually like that one. That one's cool. There's some good ones. Like, the dynamic duos are pretty tight right now. I wish the database had them up, but they don't. They'll probably have them up later. Um, who's this? Landry Fields? Oh, yeah, he already had one. Oh, man, JJ Reddick looking like he's in pain over there. Yeah, I'm going to keep searching just to see if there's any other dynamic duos. Wendell already had one. There's probably one I just don't have any of the players for. Yeah, that's already been a thing. Give me... Oh, man. Come on. Give my boy Jamar... Oh, give my boy Jamari one. Come on. Jamari. Jabari. Dude, I'm so out of it today, apparently. Yeah. Uh, let me look down in the... Yeah, here we go. I wanted to look in the Sapphire area for Sapphire promo cards. Uh, did Bojan have one already? Yeah, I think he did. I think that's old. Quickly had one. Yeah. Ilgauskas didn't have one. Oh, Ilgauskas and LeBron. Oh, he gets Hoff Rim Protector, Gold Catch and Shoot, Break Wall. Okay, this is a pretty good one too. I mean, if you have to use these cards for anything, that's a pretty good one. Couldn't give one to Simbular, you absolute haters. And it's only the masked ones, which I think is interesting as well. I mean, not surprising, but interesting nonetheless. You know what I mean? Doesn't look like anyone else. I'm looking to see if anyone like of note got one, but I, I don't think so. You didn't want to give one to my boy Chris Duarte? That's how you feel? You cowards. You cowards. Um, yeah, so I mean, until they come out in the database, I guess I don't really know if anyone specifically got one, but no one got any Evos to my knowledge as well, which I thought they were going to do that at this point. I thought they were going to give like one of the older cards like a, a slight Evo or something, but apparently that's not the case. So... As always, it's been your boy Cheap Ludes, just giving you a little bit of an insight as to what we're dealing with here for uh, season three of my team. The market's kind of interesting right now because I don't think anyone really cares about any of these cards that came out today. 
so you're seeing a bit of a resurgence in certain cards which i'll cover more in the market video later um i'm interested because i'm waiting to see where harden ends up because i want to sell my harden because i don't really want to use him and i think he'll be really good for clutch time so i'm waiting to try to sell him at some point i'm just waiting for his price to go up and i think his price will go up at some point so just to, just keep an eye on that also like dikembe yeah it's another guy whose price might go up a little bit as always bend your boy cheap loose look sorry the videos today haven't been as comedic as much as they have been informative uh that's just how it goes when a new season comes i try to inform you guys as much as humanly possible so i will be back with more content later just know that i appreciate all of you peace out